So she's going to tell us about her work. Welcome to the stage, Saha. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Sciences Lab. I'm Saha, and Corona Pilot is the project I'm working on. But to explain what Corona Pilot is, I need to. Uh, okay, sorry. I need to review three facts with you, three fun facts. Fact number one, perception is weak. This is the famous Astyronite, but this is an image, right? It's not animated. So we are going to do the next slide, and I want you to look at a hypnotic gif for 20 seconds, and we're going to be back here again, okay? Could you do the timer? Okay. Don't move your gaze, but you can blink. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> this is the same image, but you notice the difference. So this shows how our vision is unreliable. But it's not just vision. All your senses are pathological liars. Your ears lie to you. Your sense of smell is distorted, if not destroyed by COVID. <laughs> and don't even let me start about the kind of food you call tasty. So our perception of the real world is not always accurately reflecting reality. And it could be easily tricked. Fact number two, we are is powerful. So you see, since we created virtual reality, we are not bound to our actual reality anymore. The kind of reality that for most of us, most of the time, let's face it, is miserable. <laughs> but in VR, we could be a warrior. We could fight the Republic, any Star Wars fan here. I can see you, okay, cool. <laughs> and we also could be a hero of confederation, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Wrong, because <laughs> let's check on the master sword behind this scene. <laughs> so, so you're laughing now, but this is every one of you in five years. Embrace for metaverse. So yes. VR is a very powerful tool. As soon as you put on the headset, it cuts your eyes access to reality. And the rest of your senses are too weak to resist visual input. In fact, instead of helping you to regain your connection to reality, these traitors form an alliance with your eyes, or in fact, the VR behind that, and make you feel imaginary stuff only to validate what your eyes are seeing. So for example, people walking in a virtual uh, forest, they can swear they felt a cool breeze on their skin. How pathetic is that, right? <laughs> in fact, it was the lab fan. Fact number three, time is perceptual. So we are going to do a quick experiment together. We have three lamps here which uh, blink one after another. The red lamp blinks T1 seconds after the middle, uh, the middle lamp, and the middle lamp blinks T2 seconds after the left lamp. So we're going to do the next slide and uh, look at them blinking, and you're going to tell me which duration was longer, T1 or T2, okay? So which one was longer, T1 or T2? Ah, no, no, you just want to ruin the experiment. <laughs> no, tell me the truth. Be honest with yourself. T1, exactly. So you see, the larger distance between the red light and the white light in the middle intrigues our brain to draw the same conclusion about the duration. So it says T1 is longer than T2, while they are the same, uh, about half a second. But to be honest, we didn't even need this experiment to know that our understanding of time is not accurate. 
is not objective. Uh, imagine one hour that you spend with your friends having fun in a pub and compare it with the one hour that, God forbid, you had been waiting for them to arrive. These two are never the same. You never feel that these two one hour passed at the same pace. So that's the reason that we call, we call it time perception, not time measurement. Because uh, without our watches and without our uh, phones, we humans, we perceive time like as it fast, as it uh, pass fast or slow. We don't measure it. Our brain doesn't measure it in seconds or minutes. So I have to take a sip of water. I will stop the time. Yeah. What? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, stop it, please. <laughs> okay. Get some crunch. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, go. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the perception of time. And Corner Pilot Project. So the main idea of Corner Pilot Project is to use this fact, the fact that we perceive time. We don't measure it. Okay, so you see the visual illusions. We see the visual illusions at the beginning, right? Just like visual illusions, we have illusions that uh, affect our perception of time. Uh, like the kappa effect that we saw, the one with the lamp, it's called kappa effect. But it's not just kappa. We have tons of tricks, or in science language, stimuli, which influence our perception of time. On the other hand, we have VR, which gives us a very powerful tool for changing our perception of the reality including time perception, okay? So, Corner Pilot goal is to modulate your perception of time whenever you need it. But when do you need it? Imagine you are overwhelmed by your workload. Uh, it gives you the kind of a stress that decreases your performance. But what if, when you are stressed, everyone and everything around you uh, suddenly goes in slow motion? like time slows down. Wouldn't that give you the kind of confidence that you need to do your job? The kind of confidence to, actu to let you to actualize your full potential. But the other way around. Imagine you are bored. Uh, for example, with my talk. But, okay, this is a, just uh, one example for the sake of argument. It's not possible. <laughs> but imagine you are counting the seconds for me to finish this talk. Wouldn't that be great if your brain uh, could play my talk fast forward? I would be off this stage in 10 seconds. So that's, that's it. What, that's what Corner Pilot wants to do. Corner Pilot wants to modulate your time perception to optimize your performance and maximize your convenience by controlling time through your mind, not your watches. So thank you very much for joining me. How, how much? Uh, you have 48 seconds. Okay. So, uh, I, want, uh, I want you to know that uh, Corner Pilot Project has started its uh, user studies. So if you want to have fun in VR or you, uh, you want to experience uh, augmented reality, just scan this QR to participate in our experiments at VR AR Lab in Belleville Campus. There's also flyers. You can grab one on your way out. So. Thank you very much and have a nice evening. Yeah.